A busy to-do list for the Corning boys lacrosse team. The goals finally settle the score against Ithaca. Check. Win the Section 4 title. Check. Today on tap, the first round in the New York State Tournament. Corning traveling over two hours to get to the field. FM, well, 25 minutes. Third quarter, Devin Sullivan finds the wide open Andrew Buck and nothing but net. Corning down just three goals. Later, Spencer Passmore smothered by the Hornets. He dishes to the assist man. Sullivan gets it to Chris Vandenmark. The quick stick by number seven. Corning down now just two. And in the fourth, two minutes left in the game. Spencer Passmore, the senior, pushing his way through, but the shot stopped and Corning shutting down the Hornets throughout the entire second half, but the Hawks can't quite get it done. Corning falls 6-4, but coach Chris Hogue says the guys have a lot to be proud of. It's hard to swallow right now because I think we could have easily won. But when you look at the big picture in the season, you know, these kids were a great group of kids and it's fun to coach them and the effort we asked them for to give us everything they had. And you know what? I can't ever say they didn't. In Class AA Baseball, Elmira taking on top-seeded UE and Elmira putting in the work. Roman Wild cruising for the Express gets CJ Krowiak swinging. Later in the first, Matt Eastman goes down looking. Wild was perfect through four innings and he gets some offensive help too. In the second, Kevin Snyder belts one all the way to the wall in left. Two-run score, Elmira up to zip. In the fourth now, same score. Jordan Judson does a little better. Yeah, see ya, a three-run homer. The Express put up 11 in the fifth. Elmira shocking Union Endicott. The Express rolls 16-3. Elmira will now play Horseheads for the title on Friday. All right, same schools on the softball diamond now. Elmira goes up 1-0 in the top of the first. Tigers battle back in the bottom half. Carly Eaton grounds to short, beats out the throw to first. 1-1 one, one game. Still in the opening frame, Des Perry Flies one to left. Adriana Harvey tags from third, and it's 3-1. But UE was just getting started. Cassie Conrad flips one through the infield. Tigers put up 10 runs in the first inning. And the Express falling short, 13-2. Other side of the Class A, Class AA semis, Patriots at Horseheads. Picking things up in the first inning. Two on base for Binghamton, but Horseheads gets out of that bind. Easy ground out to end the threat. And now bottom half, Jess Rutherford playing textbook softball, lays down one. She beats it out. She would get the steal to second and later on third, Raiders in scoring position. But Michaela Porby throwing some heat to get out of the inning. There's a huge strikeout. It took extra time, but Horsehead able to beat out Binghamton in nine innings. Lady Raiders win 